Hi guys, welcome back to Thread and Glue. I had a few things come in today and I just wanted to quickly share them with you. It won't be a very long video, but um, some things that I'd been waiting on were this pack of two zippered pouches. Uh, one says, encourage one another and build each other up, 1 Thessalonians 5.11. The other one says, therefore, we do not lose heart, 2 Corinthians 4.16. These are canvas pouches, and I got them for um, the journaling set I'm fixing to show you. They're slick on the inside, so it's a slicky material in there. And so I'll go ahead and show you the journaling kit I got. I got this on Amazon. In fact, I got all of this on Amazon, but it is a Mr. Pen highlighter and pen set. This will not bleed through on your Bible pages. I've watched several videos of different people trying it and testing it, and it never has bled through. So it gives you a great assortment of colors in both the highlighters and the mark and the pens. The highlighters are a gel highlighter. Let me open that and show you what that looks like. Okay, let's move these to the side so I can show you. Oh, it has a mustache sticker in there. Hello. Sometimes I can melt in excess heat. If this happens, please contact Mr. Penn. They will send you another. Nice. And thanking me for my purchase. Okay. So I'm going to pull this little stickery part off so we can just write on this. Okay, so we'll start with a classic, the yellow. And if you see, you can see it is gel. It's pencil shaped. I have been told you could sharpen these, but I'm kind of scared about that. But look how beautiful, that is so fluorescent. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll just go through the colors real quick. It's really smooth. Nice. That's such a pretty color. Oh, this one looks gorgeous, too. Oh, it is. It's so pretty. You know I've been watching Nikki Drake, Simple Crazy Truth, and this is what she recommended and uses. After watching several other videos about these, I decided to go ahead and purchase them. These only look a little splotchy because this is roughed up. If it were in your Bible paper, it would be nice and smooth. That's all of the highlighters. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's try out these pins. See, oh, they do have a little cap on the bottom of them. So you'll have to pull that off. Oh, they write right away. That one's pretty. And classic black. They write really smooth, too. It's not a... It's not a, you know, a jotty kind of a mark. You know what I mean? When a pen kind of drags around. I like that one. Ooh, this is a pretty color.
Very pretty. Love them. They all work wonderful. So I'm going to put each one in their own pouch, and then I'll show you the last thing that I got on this little haul. It is a really short haul, but it, it's one I didn't want to miss showing you because I'm sure a lot of people are with their Bible journaling and Bible studies are needing something that doesn't bleed through. Okay, the next thing that I got is this box. I was watching Liz and um, she had some of these and I had been looking and looking for these and didn't know where to get them. And of course, Amazon, I just didn't know what to type in the field. Um, but it is gonna be so great. I just know it, it comes in this nice um, little case. Just open it up. And these are all metal findings. I got them all in the um, bronze. How pretty. They're a nice sturdy metal. It's not flimsy. There's several of those in a package. Look at these. Oh, decorative corners. Very nice. These are very thin, so they wouldn't bulk up your pages. So pretty. Ooh, it's such a good buy. I kind of expected them to be a little thin metal, but they're not at all. I mean, well, they're thin, but they're sturdy. And so that's, that's definitely a plus. Very pretty. There's so much in this box. I'm surprised it was such a good price. It's a filigree design is what they're called. How pretty is that? I just love it. That's gonna be so great. And you can use your patinas and anything you want to on these because they are metal. So it would be easy to alter them. Those are pretty. Those are actually a little thicker than most of the ones so far. Interesting. And oh, these are cool. They're like a little chandelier. They actually have a hole where you could put them on something. Like on a chain or something. Oh, these are bigger in a different style of chandelier. Very nice. I could see using those waxes from Finnabar on these. That would be great. So pretty. They'd make great focal pieces, especially if you'd alter them and stuff and you make them really stand out. This one has a whole a bell on it too. Um, beautiful though, just beautiful. Oh, I like this. I love this shape. Look at that. So pretty. There's so much you could do with that. And the last one in the container. But it's beautiful as well. Very pretty. So you guys, you gotta try this stuff. These things are awesome. I will try to um, go in and link these for where I where I got them and uh, 
I'm not affiliated with anybody by any means, but I just thought you might want to know. So I will go in and try to link those in the bottom description for you. So if they're not in there when I first upload this, which they probably will be, but if they're not for some reason, don't worry, give me about five minutes and I will get them put in there from the computer because they usually upload from my phone and sometimes your phone does not look. I don't know how they even had them packed in there so snug. Oh, so great. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this and are having a great day and I look forward to talking to you some more later. Bye.